Hi there, in this video I would like to show you how to upgrade your Xiaomi Yi action camera firmware from version 1.0 to version 1.07. The only way to upgrade from the previous version is that you get this little notification in your uh, Xiaomi Yi app. And uh, once you get it, uh, you will simply uh, need to click either OK or Cancel to upgrade. And uh, here is the problem that I got. Uh, the explanation here comes in Chinese, so I had no idea what it said. Uh, it probably said something like Shang Chin Chong Chen Cha, but since I do not speak Mandarin, I had no idea what to do. So uh, I just saw this 50% button once I pressed this button, so I assumed that the battery had to be charged at least full, uh, half full, sorry. Uh, up to 50% and that is the reason that I was not able to upgrade my firmware at first. So the first thing you would like to do is to charge your battery at least 50% but I recommend you to charge it fully and then upgrade your apps otherwise it will not upgrade. And that's basically all you have to know. Uh, if you're on the other hand interested in what this text here means, it's just a list of the things that up got updated in the version. And I found the translation later, uh, a few moments after I finished uh, doing a recording for this video. So I'll put a translation to this text in the description of this video. And a huge thanks from the guy at Tashkan Forum who translated it. Okay, now here I am with my battery fully charged and uh, I'm ready to upgrade. So now that I click the button here that's again on Chinese, the uh, camera will start upgrading and I will now speed up the video because it will be extremely boring to watch me waiting this bloody app to update my camera. It took around f 4 minutes I believe and the total upgrading process was about 8 minutes I believe. So. Here I am, after your camera has reached 100%, you will hear the famous beeping sound of this camera and there is no way to turn it off and perhaps this is good. Uh, it is annoying, I know, but it is good because you know that the process has not finished upgrading. Do not turn off your camera, do not do anything uh, until uh, the camera turns off itself. So the beeping sound means that uh, the, uh, the camera is still upgrading. Do not touch anything, leave your camera to stay until it beeps out, so leave it to beep. I know it's annoying and embarrassing, but you will have to wait if you do not want to mess something up. There are a lot of people who do not wait and they mess up their firmware and later complain that Xiaomi is shit or whatever they want. So trust me, do not do anything, just wait. Okay, so this sound that you just heard was the actually a notification that uh, the upgrading process is finished. And now I will try to reconnect my app by uh, turning it on again and uh, turning on the Wi-Fi. You simply need to click once this Wi-Fi button, unlike in my previous video where I said that you need to click it a few times. So just once and uh, wait until it starts blinking. So basically it will take a few seconds until it starts blinking. Okay, so this now means that uh, I'm ready to connect to my app and I hope that my camera did not die, which surely it did not. Okay, so right now the app and the phone are connecting and we are in. So this means that my camera now is fully upgraded to the latest version and if you do not w wish to watch what's in the latest version, you can now leave and have a great time with your camera. But here are just a few things that are new in this version that I noticed at first. So uh, the first thing I noticed was this serial number. I do not believe that this sort of uh, data was available in the previous version. So not nothing useful, I believe. And probably the most interesting feature added in this app is uh, AV output that you will see just in a moment. So beside that nothing else changed as you can see. So the biggest update here is uh, that some bugs have been ironed out and that uh, 
we now have the AV output which is which means that you can connect to your TV or whatever you wish I know that lots of guys that uh, are RC toys fan that they just need this sort of output so thumbs up for Xiaomi for quickly doing this sort of upgrade and it's important for most of the guys on RC forums so that's pretty much everything so you just have this new option AV which you can turn on or off and that's it there is not much else that has been fixed and the most annoying thing for me is this lag that uh, happens when you are recording and trying to preview this video just take a look at my hand in the right corner of this video recorded with my DSLR camera and uh, take a look at how Xiaomi app shows it so I put my hand and just a few seconds after it show me she will show it which is a bit annoying and I hope they will uh, fix this sort of bug I, I, I'm a bit sorry for this rant at the end but I just wanted to let somebody from Xiaomi hopefully watching this that they will fix it so thank you for watching this video I hope it uh, was helpful if you have, have any questions or comments feel free to ask at the bottom of this video if you are action camera fan please subscribe to my channel as I do action camera reviews and tutorials that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next video